and welcome to the Coffee at 11 show brought to you by Wigwam Business Coaching. Delighted to have you all here and delighted in particular to welcome our very special guest this morning, Mr. Podrick Smith. Podrick, would you please pop in, say hello and show us your coffee mug. Good morning, everybody. Delighted to be here. Wonderful. Is that a daddy? It is. I love it. I it love it. Is, yeah. da- daddy to four beautiful girls. And, right. uh, We'll, we'll hear all about that in a little while. Before we bring Podrick in to tell the story in his own words, let me tell you a little bit about Podrick. Podrick uh, is a owner and managing director of a business called PSE Power. PSE Power delivers industry-leading power production solutions underpinned by service excellence throughout the island of Ireland and have also completed projects in the UK, Europe, and the Middle East. How long established? Established in 1985. So 30 years, 36 years next February, uh, go you. Uh, 32 employees, that's no mean feat, Padraig. Well done, well done you, good stuff. And he goes on to say, a native of Newcastle West in County Limerick, Padraig is owner and managing director of PSE Power, obviously. Uh, having joined the business after the Leaving Cert in 1990, you're showing your age there. Uh, of course, they did the, the Leaving Cert very young back in those days, didn't they, Padraig, yeah? Uh, did the Leaving Cert in 1990, worked in most aspects of the business and took over as MD in 2006. So I really love that, 16 years from zero to, uh, to top dog. Uh, involved in the local credit union for over five years, currently in the role of board oversight. And he's interested in walking, cycling, reading, and international travel, except for this year. <laughs> and uh, he's also husband to Lorraine, and most importantly, or equally as importantly, father to four gorgeous daughters, Rebecca, Emily, Olivia, and Laura. And something I certainly didn't know about Podrick, uh, he was able to speak fluent Irish before he even got into secondary school, having spent a year in Ring College between sixth class primary and first class secondary. Podrick Smith, great pleasure to have you here. So we're going to go to Q&A from the floor in a little while and to apparently some people's favorite part of the show. No idea what that's about, but Princess Shelley will come in grudgingly, begrudgingly, and, uh, and t- take the limelight. Before we allow her in to do that, um, Podrick Smith, what are you taking with you from COVID? What are you not letting go? Um, I'm just, I'm not letting go the, the, the mantra that I would have always had, uh, which, which would have been bred into us uh, even at home in the younger days, is just to never give up and, and never, ever give up. Um, another positive that I, I'm taking from COVID is uh, we, we commenced the lean transformation program uh, at PSE. We, we had actually intended starting it in March, but it, it didn't happen um, in, a, in a strange way. I'm glad it didn't because I'm not sure I'd have given it the commitment that I'm giving it now because I would have still continued uh, traveling. I, I, was, I, I was in Dublin two, two days every week. I was somewhere else another day. Uh, whereas I'm here now and I'm giving it the commitment. Uh, the team are slowly being introduced to it here. Uh, everybody is buying into it so far. Um, and I can just, I, I see that as a huge opportunity for uh, just making PSE a better place and uh, not just a better place to work, but uh, a better way of doing things. And um, I, I think that the shock of COVID um, has probably allowed everybody, even people that are slow to change, uh, Nobody had a choice but to change back in earlier this year. Um, and I, I think the, the, the timing is right for it. Um, and I'm just, I'm, I'm actually looking forward to it. And I, I'm, I, I think it's, I think Lean is going to a, a assist PSE better because of COVID than if COVID hadn't happened, if that makes sense. Makes 100% sense, 100% sense. Uh, a lot of companies, a lot of friends of mine have businesses and I speak to a lot of people about business, obviously. And uh, Many, many, many businesses have tried stuff or perhaps been forced to do, to do stuff or even have been allowed to do stuff that they always thought they might want to do. Uh, and COVID has given them the opportunity. And of course, if it doesn't quite work out the way they think it might, they can always blame COVID. <laughs> and say, oh, we're, we're only trying, we're only messing. Right? Yeah. Let's go back to the way things were. But I don't believe a lot of businesses will go back to the way things were. I know I certainly won't work in the same way ever again. No, I've no interest in barreling up and down the highways and byways of, byways of Ireland at meetings when this is a perfectly excellent way of, of working. Paul and Smith, a pleasure. Sorry, you are going to say. And other, other things on, on that note as well, Colin, other things that we've mentioned here over the years that, that we really should be working towards, um, as in remote monitoring of our equipment, uh, you know, to keep our, we, we can still provide the same level of service to the customer but without sending a guy in a van. 
Um, and that's something we, we've thought about, but now we're actually looking at doing it. Uh, sorry, now we're going to do it. We're just looking at how we do it. Um, and just other, uh, other things that, yeah, that we, we, we would have been so slow to do. Um, and, and because of COVID, we're actually doing it. So yeah, it's, we, we, we definitely won't be going back to, to how we were, but it'll be a better way. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful.